Um, in this video, I want to cover some of the updates we've made to what we call kind of the type ahead or this uh, kind of big search box that's placed in uh, a number of the different themes. In this particular theme, it's right smack dab in the center. Um, and I want to specifically cover some of the options and edits that go around this. So first of all, if you look at this, you'll see a couple options. You'll see a button over here on the right. You'll see kind of a placeholder. Uh, when I click into it, it gives me some suggestions of here's recent searches I've run. Here's recently viewed documents that I can quickly jump to run a search or quickly jump to a specific document that I've looked at. Um, this one also has uh, kind of this contextual option where I can say I want to just target my search on catalog items, knowledge articles, or business services. So one thing you'll see is if I uh, control right click in here, this home page has been updated with some additional options, uh, contextual widget options. So you'll see one of the options in here is this edit type ahead search options. And this is going to take me specifically to uh, the options page. Um, I do need to switch here and flip to uh, our ESS portal context so I can make edits to this. So once I do that and I refresh, we'll see this is an editable document. What I want to highlight is a couple of these additional options down below. So use type ahead. So first of all, to highlight here, if I turn this to false and then I refresh here, what we'll see happens with this one is when I focus in, it still gives me the suggestions, but as I type it's not going to bubble up. Here's some terms that it matches or direct search options that match that. So it kind of turns off the type ahead. So as I type, it's not going to do anything to respond to it. I can still hit enter to run my search, but it's not um, going to give me some suggestions as I type. So we'll turn that back on. So we'll now show what show no results does. So I'll go ahead and save that. So now let me just type something that I know is not going to match anything. So as I do this, I get no matches. With the no results turned on, it's going to give you kind of this message here that says there's been no results matching this. And the other interesting thing with this is this Xbox here is not just to hide this message, but also hide it and clear whatever search has been put in there. I'm going to turn that back off. <clears throat> so search mode of term. So what that's going to do is if I start to type here, say I want or... I start typing email, it's going to say, oh, there has been a previous search that's been run for that term or that partial part of the term that matches other searches that have been successful. Here's some suggested ways to complete your search. So I can pick this as an email, it's going to run a search for email on it as a previous successful search term that was used uh, to kind of complete my search. That's what that uh, <coughs> direct or search mode of term does. The other option is called direct. So if I change this to search mode of direct, let me show you what that does. So now when I come back here and I do email, instead of sh offering me suggested terms or phrases or other searches that people have performed um, as a way to from the search, it's actually going directly to the search of results and finding me matches. So this is showing me catalog items, it's showing me knowledge articles, showing me business services uh, based off of this search term. All right, so if I do bond, for example, I would expect to see bond trading as one of our business services in my list. But if I click on this, it'll take me directly to that record, of the items that are in that uh, that are found in that search results. Um, another option here that's kind of tied in with this direct search is this group results. So if I change this to true, for example, now when I type email and just let it kind of run, it's going to go run that search. But now it's going to come back and organize my results based off of type. So you'll see kind of organized by here's my uh, knowledge articles, here's my or catalog items, knowledge articles, business services. All right, so further, if I do something like hosting, here's all our business services here. Now, one thing to highlight too is that if I say email, for example, all right, again, this is going to cost three different knowledge, or three different kind of record contexts. If we go and clear this and set this to these suggestions, set this to just knowledge, and I do email, it's going to give me my suggestions, but it's not going to group them by knowledge versus uh, catalog ads versus email because it have also isolated my <coughs> kind of context to just being knowledge. So it's just going to show those matching knowledge articles there. All right, so that's, uh, that's the group results. Um, minimum type ahead characters, so basically this is you have to type at least three characters before it triggers trying to run a search, get direct results, or get terms. Um, icon and input, if this is set to true, what it's going to do, it's going to put the, uh, this little button icon here, it's going to put it kind of inside uh, the text as a placeholder. Uh, show suggestions, what this is going to do, so if I turn this off, 
this is the on focus suggestions that you're seeing. So as I was focusing into the actual text box, uh, it was offering suggestions. Now if I turn it off, I focus in here, it's not doing anything until I start to type, and then it'll run the, uh, the routine. So the show suggestions is that on focus of the input kind of shows some additional suggestions. And the show context drop down, that's what you see on the left. If I turn that off, the way it'll render is you won't see any uh, kind of drop down button selection here on the left. Uh, it'll always kind of be looking for and running the searches um, for all available uh, search sources and card types uh, across the bases. Last thing I just want to highlight here is uh, in this kind of instance option or this widget instance, uh, the title here is actually what's used as the placeholder. So if I want to change kind of what's displayed when there's no text here, uh, I would do that in this title. So that covers what I want to highlight today as far as the type ahead widget and some of the uh, options and edits uh, kind of or uh, additional options that are put into this, uh, kind of how you can get to it from kind of that homepage widget options. Hope this was helpful. Thank you.